Hello, everyone, and welcome to day two of KubeCon CloudNativeCon Open Source Summit China 2021. My name is Jasmine James, and I'm an engineering manager at Twitter and a KubeCon co chair. I'm here to present to you today Kubernetes project updates. These updates might seem familiar. They're essentially a re record of the updates that Stephen Agestis, head of open source at Cisco and former KubeCon co chair, gave at our Los Angeles event in person in October. There are a few additions that I'll be also talking about today. So let's dive right in. First up, Code of Conduct Committee. The COC is a governance group, and here are some of the things that they've been working on. A project transparency report is a critical evidence point for this large community's members to understand the presence of a code of conduct is not simply a token or something hollow, but rather a representation of the project culture and that there is active accountability and restoration to ensure a safe space for all who collaborate within the project. What this means for end users is that their supply chain dependency on Kubernetes is a dependency on a project with foundational governance aspects which foster project health and sustainability. This decreases their business risk in depending on the project. Next, make sure you read the code of conduct and internalize it. And if you see behavior that is different than what the code of conduct says, and contradicts it, speak up. This might be directly in the moment if that feels safe to you or to the SIG working group lead in your area, to a steering committee representative, or even in private through the conduct at kubernetes.io email address. As with technical debt driven bugs in software engineering, the hardest conduct issues aren't typically ones where there's something done deliberately wrong, but rather ones where we allow together a situation to grow into something larger shift left and start those conversations earlier before what might be just a simple communication grows into a negative pattern or establishes unprofessional culture. Also, as Stephen mentioned, mentioned in his uh, address in October, thank you to Tasha and Ava who are now emeritus members and welcome Valerie and Navarone to the Code of Conduct Committee. All right, steering committee updates. Reiterating, read that transparency report um, also, go and check out the annual reports for all groups within the Kubernetes committee, community. To see what they're up to, you can actually access it at the Kubernetes community GitHub. Stephen gave the update that the steering election was in progress in October. We're happy to announce that it's been completed. And here are the results. Congratulations to the new steering committee members, Christoph Blecker from Red Hat, Stephen Augustus from Cisco, Paris Pittman from Apple, and Tim Pepper from VMware. Their two-year term begins immediately, and they are joined by continuing members, Devon Srinivas from VMware, Jordan Liggett from Google, and also Bob Killen from Google. Thank you all so much for serving and doing this important work. SIG security. This is a newer SIG, and it works to improve the security of Kubernetes project and the ecosystem as a whole by building bridges both internally and externally. It provides a safe space for community collaboration, knowledge sharing and learning, and also raising security awareness. Horizontal initiatives include cross-cutting documentation, tooling development, and facilitation of a regular third-party security audit. SIG Security is a community effort driven by people who show up and do the work. The sub-projects have started with interested community members showing up with an idea, bringing other contributors to do the work, coming into their own as leaders and building that community and making it a space for others to grow. SIG Security is really proud of their updates um, to their sub projects. Our docs, this, the docs sub project has been improving the Kubernetes documentation to help users run their cluster in safer ways. And it's also producing a hardening guide to raise adoption of practical security improvements, which is really, really needed by the community. I'm super excited about that. The tooling sub project is helping Kubernetes maintainers ship safer code by developing tooling and procedures to find and reduce common issues like vulnerable dependencies or data leakages. The audit sub project is making it easier for security and auditors to engage with that massive Kubernetes code base and is finding more opportunities to improve Kubernetes for everyone. These are all great opportunities and sub projects to get involved. So please reach out to the SIG if you're interested. And users often have a lot of questions about higher, hard, hardening their clusters. So the sub SIG is very excited for them to get their hands on the docs hardening guide. This guide gives users practical advice that will increase their understanding about how to make their clusters more secure. 
SIG Security has also collaborated with SIG Auth to replace deprecated pod security policy with pod security admission, which provides an easy built-in way to ensure that dangerous pod features are only used when they're needed. Pod security policy was an important effort to a lot of users, but it was hard to use and maintain. And figuring out what, repl what would replace it took years of time and effort. So pod security admission gives PSP users a path forward and helps Kubernetes uh, be more secure in its default state. As I mentioned, SIG Security is always looking for security-minded contributors, including ones who are new to the Kubernetes project. Bring your gifts, ideas, and help make Kubernetes better. Next up, SIG Release. SIG Release uh, has a roadmap and vision of what they would like to see happen in the project related to delivering Kubernetes, which is very exciting. They've also introduced more release managers and artifact promotion. Chat with SIG release to get started pushing artifacts to a secure location. They've also started to look into securing the supply chain. SIG release is trying to lead the pack by working across the SPDX community and those that deliver SBOMs. The Salsa framework allows them to see where the artifacts are going and gives more insights. SIG release will be building out that framework over time. SIG storage. So SIG storage is responsible for ensuring that different types of file and block storage, whether it's ephemeral, persistent, are available wherever a container is scheduled, including provisioning, creating, attaching, mounting, unmounting, uh, storage capacity management, influencing the schedule of containers based on storage, and generic operations on storage. CSI Windows has moved to general availability in the 1.22 release. Windows is not uh, currently support privileged containers yet. So to solve this problem, the CSI proxy enables CSI node plugins to be deployed as unprivileged pods to use a proxy to perform privileged storage operations on the node. This allows end users to use the CSI driver to provision persistent volumes to use in their workloads. SIG storage always needs new contributors. So I will echo here again, please reach out if you're interested in contributing. Working group API expression. So this group improves mechanisms to serve open API from Kubernetes, API server, and APIs authoring and expressiveness to allow APIs to properly and programmatically describe their mechanisms. Server-side apply graduates to a GA and allows new paradigms for controller authors, making it easier to implement and actuate their intent. Server-side apply helps users control, um, users and controllers manage their resources via declarative configurations. It also allows them to create and or modify their objects declaratively simply by sending their fully specified intent. After being in beta for a couple of releases, server-side apply is now generally available. Congrats. We are looking forward to the improvement of API documentation and good practices. So if you are looking to contribute to documentation, you can reach out to this working group. All right, working group naming. Working group naming was dissolved because the initial objectives were, were achieved. Um, they sought out to create a framework and process for the Kubernetes community to change language that was not inclusive. The goal was to change all of those names and it was done. So thank you to Stephen and Celeste who are the co-founders of this working group. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, working group Kubernetes infrastructure has transformed itself into a SIG. This is the first time that this has happened, um, as Stephen mentioned in October. And the journey was started to convert the infrastructure owned by Google to community-owned infrastructure. They found that it was so important that it needed to be a SIG. So if you're looking to get involved in this project, please reach out to the Kubernetes infrastructure SIG. The Product Security Committee is now the Security Response Community. This is a name change. Thank you to those on the security response committee who participate in this on-call rotation and do a lot of work behind the scenes to keep things going. SIG Docs is a place where we need a lot of contributors. And it's a fantastic way to get started in the community um, and as many folks entry point into the community. We're looking for help. So please reach out if you're looking to write documentation or even contribute technical writers to um, any of the areas that you're leveraging from the Kubernetes project. Lastly, join us. The community repo here is the number one link. Um, it offers an overview of governance groups and how to get started. 
The second link is a contributor focused website. So if you want to know what it takes to get involved with contributing to Kubernetes, you can check that out. The last link is the production level documentation managed by SigDocs. So this is our end user consumed documentation um, that really everyone knows about. Check all of them out and see how you can contribute today um, and make Kubernetes even greater than it is right now. Thank you.